What's good? We back with the Boston Clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfella, um, bringing you. I guess it will be the final thoughts on Devin Haney and Mason Menard going down tomorrow. Showbox, uh, the next generation, uh, starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I believe at 7 uh, p.m. Pacific Time. Um, and uh, today, Devin Haney and Mason Menard both uh, easily made weight. Um, both just came up un- in, up under 135. Uh, 135 pound limit. Um, Devin Haney, I think, weighed a little bit more, but they both they both just barely edged. It's 134 and some ounces, or something like that. So um, they both looking physically good shape. You notice Devin Haney look a lot bitter, bigger than Mason Minari. Also, you got the guy that pulled out the pillow in Detroit, uh, Joshua Greer, who's in the same uh, you know camp with Adrian Granados and and uh, recently uh, you know re- uh, recent loser. Uh, uh, what's the guy that just lost to J-Rock? Ah, excuse me, I can't remember the guy's name. Um, but he just lost to J-Rock. Uh, I can't remember his side, but he beat uh, Nathaniel Gallimore. Excuse me, yeah. His name is Lou. He just lost. I don't mean to call him a loser. Uh, he had a game, uh, five versus J-Rock. J-Rock was too much. He opened his mouth a lot. But um, both guys look good. It's a good card. Um, I definitely want everybody to tune in uh, and see if David Haney is the real deal. I had somebody, I think, Premier Champion. I can't remember this, the page. I'm sorry. I, I can't remember your page. He was like, I can't believe you're not believing in Devin Haney. It's not that I'm not believing. It's just that um, I couldn't find footage, good enough footage on Mason Menard or a lot of footage on Devin Haney to say, definitely, I broke down the tape and be like, okay, I think Devin Haney 100% going to win. Obviously, he's the favorite. I don't need to tell you guys that. If I can't give you an educated um, breakdown, and I don't have the tools at hand. I, I can't do a breakdown. I can't give you a person that I'm going to pick or not pick. Um, obviously, I'm riding with Devin Haney, and I hope that uh, he is what he's supposed to be. I hope the video didn't sway people to think that I was doubting him. I'm not doubting either one of these guys. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of Mason Menard. I've seen Devin Haney, a lot of foot side of sparring, a lot of you know ringside camera footage from Dante's Boxing Nation. I just really can't give you a really educated uh, breakdown, but... Um, you know, Haney looks bigger. Menard can punch. He from Louisiana. And it's gonna be a hell of a fight, man. This is this is definitely a step in the right direction. It's for the USA USBA, whatever, IBF championship, you know, a little championship belt. Um and hopefully Devin Haney this year can crack the top fifteen. Because he has been doing a lot of yapping at one thirty five pounder Robert Easter Jr. And um it's time to show up or uh, shut up. For real, real, for real talk for him. It's it's very important for both guys to make some Menard to show that look what I did with this young guy. You know, I will forever be remembered as the guy that derailed or at least um, put Devin Haney's boxing dreams on on hold to be the next Floyd Mayweather. And for Devin Haney, he's been in talks with guys like Golden Boy. I'm pretty sure he's been in talks with Mayweather Promotions. He's on the cusp of getting a good promotion deal. And if he shows up and shows out here, that could be the difference between millions of dollars and, uh, and to thousands of dollars. And not only that... If he shows up and shows out here, you know, he might not ever need a promoter. He might can sign an exclusive deal with Showtime or HBO or somebody, and they say, man, we want to sign this young talent right now. And he can just mess with Al Heyman if that's what he, he wants to do or just find another manager and be his own promoter. If he shows up and shows out and he is as talented as advertised. But both guys may wait. This ain't no catchaway shit. This ain't no 136, 137-pound con- contract type of thing. This is the real deal. They both made uh, weight at 135 pounds, just up under it. And we're ready. It's going down to Philadelphia tomorrow. 2300 Avenue, whatever that building called. I talked about earlier in the other video. Um, I definitely want to uh, put both of these guys in the spotlight, especially especially Devin Haney. So I did the video, two videos on them today. I might do live uh, you know, commentary for just the Haney fight tomorrow. Cause that's that's as bad as that's how bad I want to see if he the real deal and he the goods. I hope he is, and I hope that you know he dominates Mason Menard. No disrespect to him, and go ahead and get his money and start marching towards greatness. Cause we heard a lot of yip yap coming from him and May and Floyd Mayweather on who they whooped and sparring and how good he gonna be. I heard a lot of yip yap from Michael Collin. I heard a lot of yip yap from Shakur Stevens. I heard a lot of yip yap from Ryan Garcia, Christopher Bur- uh, B Hop Colbert. Heard a lot of yap yap from Erickson Lubin. And now it's Devin Haney time. You know he about to get baptized by fire. And if he passes this with flying colors, he's able to dominate Mason Menard. Look for the deal to come in. 
You know, look for Eddie Hearn and try to get him on that on that deal. If Eddie Hearn is smart, this is one of the guys we, he needs to be targeting. A young guy with some potential and got a nice little underground fan base. He needs to be going for the young guys first and building the base for potential and that new DAZN plan he got going on. That's what he needs to be doing. And then move up and get the big dogs. You know, he took the wrong approach. But, um... Yeah, a lot of the line for, for for Devin Haney. Obviously, he got most on the, the most on the line, a deal on the line, and, and his reputation on the line. But it's going down tomorrow on Showtime, Showbox, the Next Generation, 10 p.m. We've seen a lot of great and great fighters and potential legends fight on Showbox. So let's support the card. Let's support Joshua Greer and everybody on the card. It's TBC and more. Y'all know what it is. We go.